Hey, what's up, guys? This is Rafi West. Um, I wanted to give you guys an update on the, uh, excuse me, on the <clears throat> crash in upstate New York off of Route 38. I mentioned it a little bit in my um, my uh, walk and talk about fear. Um, some more details are coming out. Um, you know, now they're saying that the not only was the driver who was among the deceased in the crash was not properly licensed. Um, they said the vehicle was modified, um, which means, um, I guess sometimes they take two halves of the vehicles to create one. So the vehicle was modified. Um, <clears throat> and um, the owner of this limousine company which um <clears throat> i think i was at this place one time actually um i used to reside in upstate so um for a little while so um i think i know exactly where this place may be and um the owner used to work as an fbi informant um for the country so uh it's just amazing to me the shortcuts and the lack of oversight that an owner would take um, to run their business and allow something like this to happen. I mean, that tells me that money is valued above all else. I mean, why you would take such a shortcut and not oversee your company. And a lot of CEOs and owners do this, I think. Um, they don't overseas so what happens is people either start stealing money from you or this lack of oversight i mean the guy didn't have the proper credentials i don't know what they meant by <coughs> excuse me being improperly licensed and then a modified vehicle i mean doing things on the cheap and so lack of days ago is uh unbelievable but um i mean we hear crazy stories in the world all the time but the lengths and the shortcuts people would go now you would imagine now the company has to cease operations until a full investigation is done and um it's probably going to be an enormous lawsuit um at the very least if not i mean maybe even big trouble for the owner you know um even though he may not have run the operations but just being the owner and having such a lack of oversight um i guess you would have to question um how in the world that can happen and um that's the latest and also another thing i want to say initial reports of things you know the media sometimes they throw out all this initial news and um it turns out down the road that it's been distorted or the real truth comes out it'll take a while you know it'll take half a year to a year before the full story comes out on this but uh, still a uh, tremendously tragic story in upstate new york i think the town was um go Harry or something um route 30a and um very picturesque towns out there especially now um in the fall with the um foliage and everything people go up there and it's um it's nice up there to uh you know it's nice to be up there and um experience all that but that really turned into a tragic time so shortcuts are not worth it you know um let me know what you guys think. If you had a business, would you run it all like that? I mean, maybe there's other things we don't know, but um, that is unbelievable. So that is the latest that I heard. Also, Governor Cuomo um, a while back was asked to, um, there was another incident somewhere with a limousine company or something, and he was asked to create a, task force or something and he never did um but now this is going to probably bring more 
oversight into the industry as a whole. So um, I'm familiar with that industry. And so, yeah, well, let me know what you guys think of that. But that's the update on that tragic crash that killed 20 people in upstate New York. I just wanted to bring you guys an update. All right. Thank you guys as always and um, take care of yourselves. This is Rafi West. Peace.